Well, hello, good morning, and welcome to episode three of the Our Service ACM Trainings Weekly Webinar. And what a special program this is. This is the global, don't accuse me of hyperbole, this is the global launch of Dress Up Friday. Dress Up Friday, I guess it's a fairly self explanatory campaign that we're launching in a humble way right here, right now, in our home office near Ludlow in Shropshire. We're very used to uh, going to work smartly uh, when we were going to our usual places of work, uh, and it made sense, therefore, on a Friday to dress down. But now many of us are working from our home offices, and we're pretty scruffy Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, in fact, I think at the last count, I'd worn the same T-shirt three days in a row until yesterday when the smell uh, set my mind racing, and I thought, you know, dress up Friday, and a trip to the uh, washing machine might be uh, might be the go. So dress up Friday is the antidote to being scruffy every other day of the week. This is uh, our um, campaign to get the world sartorially splendid every Friday for the duration of COVID-19 and to uh, inject a, a little bit of happiness into what otherwise would be fairly uh, bleak lives. Um, and already, uh, even though it's had a, a very um, modest launch on the social web, people are sending their pictures using using the hashtag dress up Friday. Uh, and thank you for that. As the day progresses, uh, you know, if you haven't dressed up yet, dress up, take a snap of yourself, post it to social uh, using that hashtag dress up Friday. And we'll see if we can't create something uh, big. It, it's a bit of an experiment to some extent. It may fall completely flat on its face. Um, but one of the things we do here at ACM training is social media training. And I'm always encouraging my trainees to, to think creatively about how they can create a buzz for their own organizations. Uh, and this will either be a lesson to myself not to try such racy things or, hey, uh, it, it might work. Uh, and um, I've got to put my money where my mouth is or my clothes where the, my mouth uh, is. Uh, and you'll see that I'm wearing, um, you know, a, a tuxedo that I think I had years ago to pick up some gong that I'd been awarded in the old days of working in television. I don't think it was first place. It was probably a runner up or a nominated prize more than anything. Uh, and I've got a rather natty waistcoat that I have to thank Carmel Girling for uh, when she was working um, for the museum service and the art gallery, I think, in, in, in Birmingham. Uh, and this rather natty waistcoat was used to uh, publicize the fact that there was a Canaletto uh, exhibition on uh, in Birmingham and I've been wearing it on and off uh, ever since so if you're watching right now Carmel uh, thank you you've got your money's worth out of that uh, out of that publicity stunt uh, and incidentally if anybody does know how to tie a bow tie what I realized when I got up at half past five this morning was I have absolutely no idea how to do it uh, and the how-to videos aren't much good because you've kind of got to put the how-to video in the mirror in order to have your hands around the right way and perhaps a clip on one might have been a a far better way of doing things. To uh, end where we started. No one has told me how to do this damn thing up, so it will just uh, carry on dangling for the rest of uh, Dress Up Friday. We have no jazzy graphics here on the Our Service. This is the home office, and uh, frankly, this is all we could stretch to. So I'll leave you with that thought. It is hashtag from this day forward, Dress Up Friday. Do your damnedest, do your smartest, and share your pictures on social with the hashtag Dress Up up Friday. I'm looking forward to seeing them, girls and boys. Until next time, bye-bye.